we are back this is part two of day five part two of day five man this is the last live for this week but it's not the last live at all so Hey Jeff, hey Bree, hey Rain, how y'all doing? <laughs> oh man, y'all, listen, let me tell y'all, after this live, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Here we go. Let's get Jeff in here. Doom, 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 doom. Hey. Hello. How are you? How are I'm doing well? How do you feel? You get that close out <laughs> of speaking you into existence. Yes. Mastering your craft. You yep. get to close this out. So don't feel pressure, but pressure. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel pressure, but pressure. Um, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank um, you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. We're gonna just talk a little bit. I'm gonna allow some folks to run in inside of the live so before we get started um just so we can so we don't have to continue to keep starting over you know how sometimes maybe like wait what's right. the topic so i'm gonna just give like a two minute grace period for everybody to come on and tap in hello to everyone um hey, what's up guys yes y'all see your followers are tapping in that's wonderful i love it i yes. love it i love it thank you yes support we have to support. Can everyone hear us clearly? I believe. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All righty. So we're going to get started because people are already here. Yes, follow him. When you hear about him, you're going to be <laughs> like, what? I'm about to get you some more clients. We're about to do this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, Good, good evening now. Good evening. Um, my name is Brittany Destiano. I am the founder of Destiano Shine. It is a nonprofit organization that services youth and middle age individuals who are bridging the gap between education and the art while supporting women with breast cancer. And today, and for the finale, we have Mr. Jeff Manning. Yes. Um, He's an artist, but I'm going to allow him to tell everyone what type of artist he is and what he is known for and why is he so amazing. Go ahead. Take the floor. <laughs> All right. So, hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Jeff Manning. I'm a graphic artist, uh, born and raised in Philadelphia. Uh, I've been doing graphic design for the last 10 to 11 years. Uh, work with clients such as Adidas, 20th Century Fox, um, University of Pittsburgh and SS Magazine, a lot more. Okay, yep. so um, don't be, don't be modest on here, please. <laughs> don't, because you you know I know you have an audience. Um, this man has been on BET, so. Oh yes, how did yes. I forget that? <laughs> and that was like I believe one of your most recent works, right? Yeah, that was back in February. Yes, February yep. of this year. Yep. So, um, could you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so I had a chance to showcase uh, for a screening in D.C. for the show 20s by Lena Waif. Uh, so basically, I was uh, reached out by a representative to come out and showcase at the screening. It was crazy. Like, it was unbelievable. Yes, that's his art behind him. If you yes. could, like, just get, like, turn the camera a little bit if you yep. could or just something. I know you're probably on a stabilizer or something because y'all be well, crazy. I have my laptop kind of playing on my laptop. Oh, okay. Yep. So, yeah, that's one piece. And go ahead and head over to the other side. That's another piece of art. Yes. Yep. This one is called Bird Goddess. Mm -hmm. And this one is called uh, Grandeur. Yes. Yep. So his art will be in my house. Like, oh, definitely. <laughs> it's, definitely. You already know. He already I mean, you, you just said that, so. Like, definitely. I will definitely be. Yep. He already know. I'm already a client <laughs> now. So <laughs> that is wonderful. So um, continue. I'm sorry. Continue. Oh, y'all yeah, just saying how amazing the showcase was. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Howard University, shout out to Howard. Like, mm -hmm. Howard really showed up. They were really in the building. Like, it was it was crazy. Right. So I gave you the topic talking about vision. You yes. stated that you have been doing art for over 
10, 11 years. Yep. But it wasn't until recently where you are now getting the recognition of everything that you're creating. So right. um, could you tell us a little bit about that journey? Uh, so I'll start from the very beginning. So um, it was kind of one of those things where graphic design kind of found me a little bit. So in high school, unfortunately, I spelled two classes. I felt a biology course and a math class. Mm -hmm. uh, so my guidance counselor came to see me like, you know, what's going on, Jeff? How are you? Why are you failing classes? And I kind of just said, I don't know. Like, I was like maybe 16 or 17 at the time. Mm -hmm. So I just gave her, I don't know. Like, you know, I don't know what's going on. So she said, I have an idea for you. I want to put you in a vocational school. So at the time in my school, um, if you were in a vocational school, you were considered a weirdo, quote unquote. Mm hmm so I had friends that were like, yo, why are you going there? Like, you're, you know, you're not, you know, why are you going with the weirdos, quote unquote? Mm -hmm. So, you know, me thinking about my future at the time, I said, heck yeah, I'm going to definitely take that opportunity. So I asked her what courses are available. And she went through like, you know, graphic design, uh, cosmetology. I wouldn't take that, but cosmetology, um, uh, woodshop and things like that. Mm -hmm. So some re for some reason, the word graphic design stuck out to me. So I asked mm -hmm. her what it was. And she was just like, you know, it's uh, billboards, poster designs, and album covers, and et cetera. So me being a huge music fan, I said, album covers, sure, like, put me in there. Right. Yeah, so uh, fast forward to um, later on that year, that was 2009, 2009. Mm -hmm. So uh, fast forward to November of that same year, I started, and it was telling me about this photo, this Photoshop thing. I didn't know what it was at the time. Like, I, don't, I didn't know what Photoshop was. Okay. So I uh, went into the program for the first time. I had no idea what I was doing. I seen a screen and a bunch of buttons. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, maybe like a week and a half, two weeks after doing that, I wanted to quit. All right. Uh, but shout out to my mom. I think she's in here too. Okay. Shout out to mom. She cut me, cut my head straight and said, you know, uh, definitely stick it out and you'll like it eventually. Mm -hmm. So uh, long story short, I ended up loving it. Yes. And uh, I graduated with this uh, certificate from there. Yep, and um, fast forward to 2011. Oh, here. That's oh yeah, right, mom. Yep. Yep. <laughs> shout out to mom. <laughs> uh, so fast forward to 2011. Yes. Uh, after graduation to uh, freshman year of college, so I attended the Art Institute of Philadelphia for graphic design. Yes. Uh, so while there, I kind of began to uh, practice my skills, like you know, in and out of the classroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, still wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, but, you know, I still had an interest in it. Right. So uh, fast forward to 2012. Um, this is kind of off topic, but I went to a music event. Okay. And something just stuck out to me about them being on stage and doing what they love to do for a living. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I can do the same thing. So from 2012, you know, I made a plan that I would, you know, give everything that I have and put everything within my craft mm. to get to that point. Right. You know? um, so, yeah, uh, I just kept working, you know, year mm -hmm. in, year out. And, you know, definitely went through ups and downs throughout there. And, you know, here we are. Right. And here we are now. Yep. So that definitely got carried you through to be able to pinch yes. and certain things yes. happen in your life to make you see that, you know, this may be hard or I don't even know if I'm really – qualified to do this but this is right. something that i'm learning to love and i love it and now i don't want to ever stop doing it you know right i've wanted so, to give up for like so many times during the journey it's yes crazy. of course and i'm sure <laughs> and we all and some people are like afraid to talk about those moments but it's in those moments that make us stronger it's in those right. moments that we learn to grow and be able to be like you know what now nah, i'm sticking this out i have right. i've been already right. started i'm this far in and i don't want to give it up but you definitely i'm so proud of you you well, are you. an amazing you artist proud of you, um, also. you should definitely drop your um if you can i know breeze in here or Bree, drop his uh website name inside of the comments so i can pin it so you, other people can visit your website and things like that so um what is your most famous piece can you tell us about that Oh, it's easy. Uh, it's a piece that I did called You Are. Mm -hmm. um, when I designed that piece five years ago, it was based on like a, a growth period in my life. So I don't know if you've seen it or not. It's the one with the flower coming out the head. Yes. Yeah. So that's my most like, recognized piece. Like everyone loves that piece. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out to everyone that bought that piece. I'm very, very thankful for that. 
Yes, absolutely. Um, so like I was saying, it's a, a piece based on growth. So I went through a growth period in 2015, you know, where I was kind of like, um, prior to that, I was kind of like comparing myself to other artists. Like looking at them and being like, why am I not at that point, in, you know, in my career? So you are was uh, my way of saying or telling myself to kind of take, you know, be patient and trust the process. Mm -hmm. You know, and trust your own growth at your own pace. Right. I like that. You are. Yeah. So um, that is, I just pinned his website. Um, I you. would definitely check out, if you're in here, check out You Are. Um, it's an amazing piece. It's actually really pretty. It's white, and then it has a bunch of different other colors in it. Yeah. <laughs> and, it show, and it signifies growth. Um, so, and I love how you use your own experiences inside of your artistry. You know, like, some people look at it just for money. And um, some people look at it, oh, I'm just, I know I can make money off of this because I'm good at it. But you, you actually internalize it within yourself right. and be like, you know what? No, I know that this can speak to someone. And that's what everybody's different craft, whether it's dancing, singing, rapping, um, right. speaking, uh, being a lawyer, anything that we do um, most times are because that's what we feel within ourselves we feel like we can create a change we feel like we can speak our story in some type of way and you are able to speak your story through your um your art which is amazing is that the black lives matter piece is crazy too someone <laughs> talked about your black lives matter piece can you do you talk about that is it yes mm -hmm. uh so yeah i was just so fed up at the time you know i'm still fed up about that you know I've been fed up, you know. We all are. Talking. Right. <laughs> we, all, we all are. So it was basically my way of expressing my anger towards, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, just kind of, I felt like it was my responsibility as a Black artist to voice my opinion through my work. Right. That's dope. So um, could you describe, I know we probably don't have a picture of the piece right now, but like, could you yeah, describe I wish I could. <laughs> Yeah. Could you describe it to us? Like how, like what, what's in it? Like what it entails inside of this piece? Mm -hmm. So um, it's created with hands, basically mm -hmm. with fists. I'm sorry, fists. Mm -hmm. uh, so behind the fists uh, is like a, um, the uh, flag, the American flag, but in black, the black and white flag. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I built it as like a protest piece, basically. Just okay. kind of having people protest. Right. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so is there any... Oh, here it is. I got it. Okay. Oh, I knew she was right around here. Yep. Okay, so here we go. That is his Black Lives Matter piece. I know you have you have a lot of support in these comments. Like, you're, oh, you're you. following. They're, they're really good. <laughs> I appreciate this. Yes. Okay. And can you actually show you are for people oh, yeah, who definitely. be interested in you are as well? Definitely. Um, I know Brie right on it. She right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I Brie. My best friend's crazy. But yeah. um, that's awesome. And um, man, I lost my train of thought. So we're waiting. It says, how would you describe your style? So if you have any questions for Jeff as a graphic designer and different things like that, you can drop them in a the comment box. Uh, did you draw did you show you are so this is you are this is yep. this is oh my gosh that joint is y'all <laughs> that one you need it you need it don't even try to front like you don't it is beautiful yes so um someone asked how would you describe your style of creating right so my style is definitely inspired by afrofuturism mm -hmm. so i would say um it's kind of like if uh, Afrofuturism, uh, minimalism, and surrealism had a child. Okay. That makes any sense. So it's okay, a cross so between explain that to them. Some, someone else may not understand. I just explain that a little bit. Okay. So uh, minimalism is kind of like a, uh, you know, it's still art at the end of the day, but it's kind of like elements kind of taken back out of the picture, if mm -hmm. that makes any sense. Uh, Afrofuturism was a movement that kind of sparks from the Black Panther movement back in the 70s. So if you look at album covers like Funkadelic or uh, uh, like Frankie, Frankie Beverly and Maze, back in the day, they kind of had those kind of type of like Afrofuturistic album, album, album covers, sorry. Right. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's dope. All right, we have a question. Let me see. Oh, wait. Someone started the question but didn't finish it. <laughs> so they were <laughs> sending the question. So I'm not going to put it up there because it's not finished. But... um. You can definitely send your the rest of your questions inside the question box only so we yeah, don't keep have them to, coming. 
Definitely. Yeah, so we don't have to troll the comments as much. But um, because <laughs> I can't keep up sometimes. I be trying to keep up with all the comments, but right. Yeah, I can't keep. I I be getting some of them. Uh, Brie got bullied. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So how, how long first question is, is, how long did it take you to learn Photoshop? Hmm. Maybe three or four years. I would say maybe three to four years. Mm-hmm. It definitely took a while. Yes. Okay. Um, someone asked, what's your favorite piece? That's a hard one. I love, <laughs> right. I love every piece, so that's a tough one. You said what? Uh, I love every single piece, so it's a tough, it's a tough decision to make. Um, favorite piece. She said, because it's giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love, I love every single one equally, so it's a hard pick for me, honestly. Uh-huh. So um, it said, what made it easier? Like, did, was it just practicing, like, continuously keep doing Oh, it? yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Just constant, you know, watching YouTube videos, tutorials, things like that, reading books and, you know, a whole bunch of other things. Mm-hmm. And just being consistent within my practice. Right, so being consistent. Right. So there, that's a very – there's a lot of things that are happening right now inside of my lives, and I don't – I know for the people who's been watching every day, they see the – the correlation of I, that means that I'm doing my job and creating this purpose of mm-hmm. understanding that you have to be dedicated, you have to be consistent, you have to have vision, you have to have discipline, you need to be organized. Also, that was the purpose of this week. And each speaker understands that if you don't have faith, organization, be devoted to your craft, be consistent and things like that, it won't work. Right. And the thing is, like, bringing it from all the way from Monday all the way on, it's like it's the it's a repetitive it's a repetitive um yes faith yep mm-hmm. oh definitely so definitely it's a repetitive cycle you know it's a pattern here and anyone who's choosing the entrepreneur route or anything that they want to do within their craft and things like that you got to understand that these viable core keys is what gets you it what will get you going and will keep that momentum through the hard times, through the growth periods, through the times when you feel like you don't want to do it anymore and things like that. We have a bunch of questions. So I'm about to uh, <laughs> hop in them because I'm, I'm a little slow right now. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. It says, do you have a piece or pieces that are hard for you to part from? Um, Definitely you are, for sure. Like I said before, it was definitely a growth, you know, going through a growth period in my life. You know, mm-hmm. so that piece, you know, it resonates with me very personally. Absolutely. All right. Hold on. Let's, we got we're a whole list going. We got, Hold yeah, on. so. <laughs> okay, here we go. What, oh, it's my brother. Oh, hey, bro. Yeah. What What's going some on, bro? advice would you give someone starting out as a new artist? Okay. Or as start. a new artist or... Well, that's your bro, so you would know. Yeah, he's he has a clothing brand uh, called High Commodity. Okay, shout out to High yeah. Commodity. Yep, yep. So, um, I would definitely say kind of focus on your own path. Definitely, I know I said that at the beginning of the uh, the live, mm-hmm. but I can't stress this enough. Definitely focus on your own path and don't compare yourself to others. Mm. You know, mm. You comparing yourself to others will kind of have you making moves out of you know, uh, moves like what you're doing, right? Making false decisions and things like that. So. Definitely stay on path, stay on your own path, you know, and trust your own process. Mm. Yes. Your timing is for you. What's for you will never pass you. Understand right. that. Understand all of that. Overstand this. I had somebody say overstand it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal that one. Overstand that. What's for you will never pass you. Right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Where do you draw inspiration for new concepts? Um... Definitely music. I'm a, I'm a music head, so I love music. So I have to listen to music to get my creative juices flowing. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's definitely music, for sure. Okay. Right. So while we're on this topic about music, you work with, you currently work with a music artist. Who is Yes. That? Oh, uh, Masego. Yes. So, yes. okay. So what do you Shout do Shout out to Masego. Yes. So uh, we're 
uh, doing um, covers together, like album, album single covers. So I'm also mm -hmm. designing his album as well. Yeah. Things like that. Yep. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. You be trying, you be trying to hide your crafts, and you know I know. You, so <laughs> I be having to throw them out there, have to make pull them from, pull them from you. It says, any suggestions? Go ahead. Okay. Any suggestions for decorating a new space with art? I'm also an, a minimalist, so don't want to overdo it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so definitely uh, get canvas prints for sure. You know, whether it's from me or anybody else, definitely get canvas prints to decorate your space. Canvas prints to decorate. Okay. Yes. Uh, someone said that they love Maseko. Yep, so do I. <laughs> Huge fan. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what are some things you have accomplished that people don't know more about? Hmm. Mm. Okay, so I put out a clothing brand. I put, I put on the clothing uh, line two years ago. Basically putting my art on to t-shirts and apparel. Uh, so that's something that I'm most, you know, that I'm most proud of that I accomplished that not too many people know about. Like, everyone knows about the prints and the canvas prints, but not too many people know about the apparel line that I did. Mm -hmm. So definitely that. That's awesome. So if, when you go on his website, you can also find, besides the paintings, you'll be able to find apparel. He has jean yep. jackets, shirts. Uh, what else is on there? I think je the jean jackets and shirts, right? Oh, yeah. Um, sweatshirts. Sweatshirts. You know, coffee mugs. Yes. Things of that nature. Yep. Absolutely. And then you make you are a coffee mug or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We have more questions. Okay. What would you do if you weren't an artist? What would be the title of your autobiography? Ooh. Oh, good, great question. That's a great question. Wow. Whew. So if I wasn't an artist, I I kind of had basketball dreams when I was younger. Okay. That and I had a dream of being like a um uh <laughs> <laughs> um something to do with cars, like a car salesman or like a you know an engineer. That's okay, what engineer. engineer. Okay. Right. Wow. Um, what would the yeah. title of your bi autobiography be? <sighs> it's a hard one. Okay. Um If I had to make my name up on a spot, mm -hmm. probably process. Process. This process. I like that. Yep. So anything, so what I'm getting from you and overall of our conversation is that anything that you're doing, you, know, you create the vision that you want, and then you just go through the process. Until yes. You're there. Definitely. Yep. <laughs> it says Jeff would draw on steering wheels and paper plate. <laughs> Oh. Well, your mom is Wait, who said that? my mom? the last in the comments right now. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I had an obsession with cars when I was younger, so that's definitely a true story. But you know what's interesting? She said, I knew that he would be a car designer, and it's, you you end up being a designer, but just not. Just not for cars, right. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? Don't count it out, because you just might do it somewhere. Your creativity might continue to go, and God may place yeah, you, you in another never opportunity never. Never to go never. somewhere. Yep. So don't don't um knock it out. You'll be making billboards and whatever else. Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully. Absolutely. All right. So hold on. Let me I'm I'm missing question. There we go. Okay, next question is would you look into any original paintings or doing any original paintings? All right, so truth be told, honestly, my paintings suck. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a horrible painter. That's why I'm a digital artist. Like I'm I'm I suck at painting. Okay. Tried it, was it for me? I'm like, you know what? Not for me. Okay. <laughs> but so, so let me you go just, back to it. You prefer to it. just create all of yours from the digital art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm learning something because yeah, it beats me. I've been a painting with a twist and I just, you know, follow the lines. <laughs> but you know, your painting is on a whole nother level. <laughs> Oh man, y'all don't laugh at me because y'all know I. Can't. But yeah, I might go back and I might go try to you know paint something you know somewhere in the future, but just not now. Understood, understood. <laughs> just not now, okay. Yep. Here we go. 
okay, being a black artist, is there any, any advice you would give to a young black artist wanting to stand out? Mm, be original, be yourself. Sorry. Right, definitely that. And mm -hmm. I know the art world is predominantly, you know, white. So definitely stay true to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, don't try to do what's quote unquote accepted in the art community. So that's what I would say. Okay, um, it's Vika. Yeah. Um, how old are you, sweetheart? This is where I pop. This is where I tap in. Where? How old are you? <laughs> if you're still in the comments, please answer. Um, and I also want to say that, um, Jeff, like, would you be open to like having workshops for like student, like younger? Oh. Definitely, definitely. Seven, see, there we go. That's most definitely. Make sure, you, question. make sure you DM me, sweetheart. But um, good. So my thing is like this is where all of this come in. I find okay. Um, make sure you follow our page. It's called Destiano Shine Vicar, and um, I need to connect with you so I can help you with that. Um, would you also do um, mentorship? As yes. Well. yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Good. <laughs> Set forever twenty nine. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me go to the next question. Oh, I think that's that's the last question. Yeah. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. You have a lot of knowledge to give inside of this industry because I know some people are like you know they they shy away from art and I think that art is a beautiful thing and art is in so many different forms it's not just rapping or singing it's, right. it's dancing it's you know it's painting it's mu it's all music and even how you compared music to your art that is a way of speaking life as well yes so yeah so anyone out there that's kind of you know uh, have a talent definitely express yourself don't hide your talent you know we want to see it so mm -hmm. shine your light the world needs yeah. it right <laughs> Yep, shine your light. The world needs it. It's so much darkness already in this world. And I'm just, you know, with my platform, I want to continue to shine light on those things, give knowledge when I can. Um, put people in front of my young, my young audience like you that, you know, regardless of how long it takes, it may take 10, 11 years, five years, you have to continue to keep faith and keep striding and keep yes. focusing and mastering your craft. That is the whole purpose of this week. And I... I can't thank God enough for being allowing me to be able to get through get through this. You all are yes. amazing. We're not done, but I'm just like I just have to give thanks because you know sometimes we all have an idea of doing something and creating something, but we don't know how the ending will go or how all of the steps will actually happen and how it will right. end. But as long as you as you saying and I will say you have to trust that process. You have to just do it. You have to just start. It just starts with that one phone call, that one painting, that one digital artist, that that one connection, all of those different things. And once you once people understand and connect with that and believe in themselves, you only go it's only you only regardless of what you face, it's only up from there. Yeah, definitely. Y'all hear it in all from there. It's only up. <laughs> Yes, it says, I love how educated we are in this generation. So many entrepreneurs and bosses. I love yes. it, too. I love, we're challenging our older generations. We yeah, are we have, the, we have the, uh, the word in our fingertips, literally, but our phones and, you know, laptops, things like that. Right. You know, we have so much access to knowledge, you know. Yes. And my thing is, in this time, if you don't find a way to educate yourself, watch a YouTube channel. It's literally so many pages that you can go on to figure out right. what you're doing. Like, all of these things, um, <laughs> I'm crazy. She says the glasses to me. <laughs> she got me blushing, like, what you doing? So, <laughs> but thank you. Um, oh, man. It's like it's, the knowledge is at our fingertips. And it became so much easier, which also is a good and a bad thing as well. Because, you know, um, some people want instant gratification. But right. I, everyone that spoke from Monday to Friday... They, it's a process. You have to understand that it does not happen overnight. Definitely not. So many ups and downs you're going to go through. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you have any more questions, you are sure you are free to put them inside. Oh, wait, here we, uh, here we go. More questions? Yeah, I missed this but, one. Oh. Do you guys have any advice for artists starting out and how to sell work? Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I'll repeat it again for starting out. Um, uh, you know, definitely follow your own path. First of all, I'll start with that part. And as far as how to sell your work, um, you know, definitely think of things besides prints, you know, so you have coffee mugs, uh, apparel, things like that. So, you know, you can, it's cool to sell your art on prints, but kind of think about other items as well. Right. So, and, uh, sorry, one more thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Marketing is key too. So definitely promote yourself and market your items as much as you can. To, all right, so let's talk. Let's talk about marketing a little bit. Um, how, what are the best ways that you found useful of marketing yourself for your artwork? Uh, well, repeat that one more time. I'm sorry. What are the best um, marketing techniques that you found mm -hmm. for yourself to be able to um, market oh. your brand and your in your artwork? Right. Um. Definitely social media. Definitely. Social media has played a huge part in me being able to sell, you know, my prints, uh, apparel, coffee mugs. So definitely social media. Social media? Yeah. Okay. So like, let's say, do you just post it on your page or is this something that you like send in people's DMs as well? Is there a certain hash, like hashtag or a certain time that you post something? Like how, like, mm -hmm. Explain that. How does that work? Uh, so definitely use hashtags. I'll post them myself, but I use a, a bunch of hashtags as well. So mm -hmm. I know people kind of downplay hashtags thing as kind of spamming people, but it's not. You know, mm -hmm. hashtags, if someone clicks that hashtag, they can see your work instantly. So why not? You know? All right. Okay, perfect. All right, we have... Do, do, do. Oh, wait, where did it go? Here it is. Okay. Uh, I'm new to your page. Oh, thank you. First of all, thank you for coming to my page. I appreciate it. Okay, what do you do? Oh, it's for you. Oh, it is. It is for you. For me. Yeah. Oh, okay. For you. It says, I'm new to your page. What do you do, sis? And what made you start this journey? Okay. So for everyone who's just now entering and don't know who I am, my name is Brittany Desciano. I am an educator. So I'm a teacher along with being an entrepreneur. I have a nonprofit organization. It is named Desciano Shine, where we bridge the gap between education and art while supporting women with breast cancer so my goal is to spread knowledge and allow the youth um i don't really just i'm learning now that it doesn't have to just be the youth it can be middle age as well of people um walking into their destiny because the prefix desti is the spanish root for destiny and i tied those two things together whereas though allow me to be a part of your journey and assist you in getting to your destiny and where you want to be and where your craft is. So how that correlates is me bringing people like Jeff on to give you that knowledge, create that workshop for barbershops or painting or um, doing hair, anything like that. So I am considered your middleman within your desk, getting you to your destiny of what it is your purpose of in your life, if that makes sense. You know how everybody always say they wish they had that big sister or they, or you hear like some regrets out of people mouths where it's like, oh, if I had this, this, this person to listen to me or this person to help or this resource and different things like that. Um, I want to be that person for it. I want to be that solid foundation that is like, okay, no, I can go to Brit or Brittany or whatever you want to call me. And I can, I can tap into that's Keanu O'Shawn, and I know that they'll direct me to the correct resource of wherever I need to go. Um, and God allowed me to lead this journey. This is a dream that I've been had since my second semester in college, but I didn't start acting on it until after college and probably, I think, two years after that. So it all comes with timing. Um, and I believe that God planted it in my heart then, and then once you plant that seed, it will grow. So now I'm just, I'm just walking with him. I'm walking to my purpose and where it leads me, it will be. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it's definitely way more to come. Um, I cannot wait to do events. That is like, well, man, I can't wait. <laughs> Thank God for her. She's up me too. If she's still here. Oh, yes. We love rain. That's, that's, that's my baby. <laughs> All right, we have more questions. Here we go. Oh, wait, that is not. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I had... wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, thanks for that. Um, so, you know, 
Here you go. Okay, so someone said, I don't know if this is, has been asked yet, but how do you go an online art platform from scratch? Okay, uh, I mean, you have sites out there like Weebly, Wix, Squarespace, where you can easily kind of, you know, plug your work in. It's kind of like a plug and play type situation. You can just upload your work and just, you know, sell instantly. So um, definitely, you know, look into those uh, platforms. Okay. So um, even though we have those other platforms and things like that, but would you, um, them wanting to start the art platform from scratch, what would you recommend them doing? Um, again, definitely market yourself. Like, you know, keep marketing, 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 and promoting yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. You can never have enough promotion. Okay. For sure. Understood. So definitely keep, you know, stay consistent with promoting yourself. Okay. It says, what software are you using for your work? Uh, all Photoshop. Yep, Photoshop. And sometimes I may touch uh, Adobe Illustrator as well, but mostly it's like 90% Photoshop. Okay. That's wonderful. All right. Let me see. Will there be an, will there be an art show in the near future? Oh, this is Bree's mom. This is mom, by the way. Yeah. Mama. Hey, mom. Yep. That's my mom. It's yeah. mom-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> so yes that will be a, our show in the future in the very near future yes it will yeah it would have already happened if it wasn't for COVID so you can blame COVID-19 for the uh, disruption or delay <laughs> yes but we'll definitely be having one absolutely for sure and we'll we'll all well we'll know Jeff we'll talk about how we can do the oh yeah definitely show. okay definitely. so yeah we'll definitely get there <laughs> but um for sure look out for Jeff he will have it Okay. Um, okay, I am all finally caught up on questions. Because <laughs> I was like behind, like the question box was like six. I was like, oh man, wait a minute. <laughs> but um, Are there any more questions? Uh, right now, there aren't any. I don't okay. see any right now. But um, we'll continue the conversation. But if anyone have any more questions, we have about uh, 20 more minutes. So you are definitely free to tap in and um, ask your questions. Can you explain the importance of trademark? Your, can you explain the importance of trademark your work? Oh, shout out to Kenny. What's up, Kenny? What's going on? So it definitely uh, is very, it's a high importance. You know, I'm dealing with a situation right now where someone's, you know, uh, stole one of my pieces and tried to sell it, which is you are, ironically. So what they basically did was try to create a quote unquote poster out of it and put words on top of it and basically sell it for twenty dollars. And it took the background off. And it took the background off of my piece and put it onto the poster. Yeah, so things like that is very important as far as trademarking your work. Mm hmm So to avoid things from like that from happening. Yes. Even when you have regular business names and things like that, get your get your LLC, make sure that your name is secured. Yeah, I got, because, I got mine maybe a year, not a year, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, like make sure that you do all of those things to protect you. Because then, you know, you can say, oh, I've had this business for five years and this is my name. But if you did not take the legal steps to make sure that you are creating your solid foundation for your name, what's what's it to you? They're going to exactly. steal it. Right. <laughs> They're going to steal it. So... They said Brie in the back. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but absolutely. Um, let me see. I, is the, uh, let me check. Okay, I keep thinking that. No, that's not a question. <laughs> um, yeah, keep the questions coming. So we're here for another, you know, half hour or so. No. All right, we have a question. Cool. But is Vika. Go ahead. Okay, everyone has a unique way of approaching art. What we'll makes your art different from others? Uh, I mean, I put all of me in my artwork, so that's enough for me to say that it's different from everyone else's, you know? Like, my artwork is 100% me. It's raw and uncut, you know, 100% me. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how I differentiate myself, you know, from everyone else. Because no one's created the same, so 
you know, if I'm putting myself into my artwork, that's already enough for me to, you know, stand out on my own. Right, because it's your story. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's your, your, what you're feeling from within, um, right. what you may be experiencing inside of that season and different things like that. So it's right. all you. Definitely. Original. Good <laughs> bit. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he definitely should. I don't. I hope he follows you as well because it seems like oh, he wants he wants to be an artist and he need just need a little guidance. So um, we can definitely help him with that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's chat. Let's talk. Yeah, sure. for sure. We can definitely direct him in the right path somewhere to get him going and get him started. Yeah, feel free to send me a DM anytime. Also, mm -hmm. that's one thing. That's what um, some of these youngsters are gonna have to get used to with, with me. I'm <laughs> going to throw you out. I'm be like, oh, okay, so because someone did it to me, so it's just like you know, you um, this is what you want to do. This is what you want right. to do. All right, cool. So now let's go work on it. We're gonna. We don't have to talk about it. We don't have to keep talking about it. Cool. You got it written down. That's wonderful. I need you to have it written down because that means that you're now serious about. It. Now we're gonna put right. some action in behind it, and I'm gonna get the resources for you to make sure it happens. So, <laughs> mm -mm. All right, we have some more questions. Do do do. Okay. There you go. Cool. Do you have a favorite graphic design artist? Whew. Okay. Uh, I would say I have a favorite painter. Like I look at a lot of paintings as inspiration for me as okay. a digital artist. So uh, lately, Kadir Nelson has been my favorite artist. Like his pieces are very powerful. Um, he did the artwork for uh, Drake's "Nothing Was the Same" album. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you know, the sky in the background. Yeah. That was Kadir Nelson. So, yeah, Kadir Nelson is definitely one of my favorite artists. Now, y'all don't know who Kadir Nelson is, definitely Google, because I don't even know. <laughs> right, I, think, I think he had the cover for, uh, I think it was the New Yorker magazine or something like that he had the cover for this mm -hmm. past month. Okay. Yeah, definitely check out Kadir Nelson, for sure. That's awesome. Okay, now we have four questions. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what are your views on collaborating with other visual artists. I know that's not always easy. Okay. So I haven't had a uh, collaboration in a while. It's been some years. Um, but there definitely has to be uh, something brought to the table by both artists, for sure. So I've done collaborations in the past where it was kind of like, you know, the person didn't really bring their all to it, but I put 100% into it. So it was like you were picking up the slap. So it was like kind of when we were in school, Right. And that one person do the project. whole project, right. but everybody wants, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> everybody wants the A. It was right. one of those. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So it definitely has to be like a mutual, you know, a mutual creative, you know, uh, excitement at least. Mm -hmm. for, you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, definitely. It's... Um... Here we go. Oh, this is from Bree. Okay. <laughs> Explain the motif of using black men and women in your artwork. All right, so I'll give us a, a, um, a quick story. So back in 2013, uh, I had a friend, because back at that time, my style was way different than it is now. So back then, I was doing things to kind of be accepted in the art world, quote unquote. Okay. So my friend kind of gave me like a, uh, like a G check and was like, look, why are you not, you know, doing art for us, you know, 100%. And I couldn't answer the question because I was so like, you know, I felt guilty about it, mm -hmm. you know. So my my significance of, of, of having uh, black men and women in my artwork is basically to show how great we are and how, you know, fantastic we are as people. Mm -hmm. You know, we're royalty, so yeah. I represent that for sure. Yes, absolutely. Because then all of your artwork is some type of crown, some type of yes. um, boldness, you yeah. know, just it gives that royalty feel and I, I love that yes yes absolutely okay more questions yep cool <laughs> yeah shout out to it's vicar like the questions are coming from them mm -hmm. okay would you do a gallery show in the uk most definitely that's a goal of mine definitely without question without question <laughs> that's shout out to the uk all right so here we go Okay, it's from Kenny again. Okay, so what's next for Jeff? Hmm. Um, definitely continuing to regress my brand, uh, the Jeff Manning art brand itself. 
Uh, my ultimate goal, really, I want to have a, a digital art museum. Mm -hmm. So we have art museums, but it's mainly paintings. So I want to have like a digital art museum for, you know, other artists and myself to kind of, you know, express, you know, artwork. What? And I can take all my students to your museum? Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. What? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. That so is I definitely amazing. plan to have it here in Philly, for sure. And you want it here in Philly? Yes, definitely. Got to have it at home base. Okay, home base. Yep. And where else would you want to, like, if you could place your museum somewhere else, where would it be? Uh, definitely New York, for sure. Okay. Got to be New York. Uh, that's different. Yes, I ain't never here. That's yeah. sure. That's different. Yeah, I would also put one in London as well. Oh, mm -hmm. haven't you been to London? Not yet. Okay, but Not you yet. went somewhere, <laughs> though. It was... That was Jamaica. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was okay. a few years back. Yep. Right. But you, okay. All right, cool. Let me not, let me stop digging. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Cool. Yeah, no. Okay, wonderful. All right. So, what would you name? Well, I know, never mind. Don't tell that. Never mind. Hey, I don't okay. have a name for that anyway. So, I okay. can't tell you. All I right. can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, I'm pretty particular on like speeding certain information. That's why I was like, hold on, wait, don't tell that much information because, right. you know, um, gotta, gotta protect certain parts of your um your visions yeah, for sure even though what's for you will never pass you but sometimes you just gotta always gotta protect some things right so, yeah well we got jamaican flag pop up in the in the comments hey, hey. <laughs> <I'm loving it. laughs> that's dope all right we're coming up on our 10 minute mark so if we have any more questions before we close out for the night please let me know oh um Shout out to mom again. I do have a billboard in Ghana. And you did not think that I wanted to know that? Yeah, I, th I think it's the humbleness in me that kind of, you know, I'm just a humble yeah, guy. Yeah, like, I'm literally like pulling it out of you. I'm like, so, right. but, I mean, that's really good, though, that you're very humble. Like, a lot of people become very boastful and think that, mm. you know, oh, I'm, I'm this, I'm that. But God will humble you. And, and as fast as you are creating that as like best as it can be wiped right. away from you. Right. So continue to be the way that you are. That is a blessing that you are humble, but also know your work, you know? So um, that's great. And you have an amazing support system. I love everyone that's in the comments that's supporting Jeff. Yeah, thank um, you. Shout out thank to you. mom, both moms. Shout out to yeah, Shout out to everyone. That's shout out to everybody, <laughs> you know, shout out to yep. everyone who's just been supporting us all week. You are amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Someone put hidden figures. Robo. Okay. Yeah, so I had worked with uh, hidden figures in 20th Century Fox. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, that was about four years ago. No, three years ago. Yeah. No, was it three or four? Four years ago. It was four. Mm -hmm. And aren't uh, you in a magazine? Yes. I'm in uh, the May, June issue of uh, Essence Magazine. Mm. So yeah. how did that display happen? How did that go? Um, it started from an Instagram DM. Mm -hmm. So, uh, shout out to Nia Lawrence, who's the uh, one of the creative directors for Essence Magazine. She reached out through DM, okay, and asked me would I be interested in doing uh, six pieces for their upcoming issue, right? And she would pitch my work to their uh, chief editor, okay, and uh, the rest is history from there. Wow, yep. wow, wow! When you're gonna be next in Forbes? <laughs> so I, I know this is like probably far fetched, but would you ever create your own magazine? Hmm, I actually would. I would. Like of your art, like you know, like that can that can be a thing. Yeah, something along that line is coming very soon. Okay. Yeah, but it's right, in the works. Cool. Cause yep. God spoke it to me. It said magazine in my head, so like I felt like I was supposed to say it to you, so I had to say it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that is wonderful. I love it. Yes, he does summer. Yes, I don't know who summer is, but um, definitely. Oh, summer's one of my great friends. Like she's one of the uh, best friends. So. Okay. Shout yeah. out the best friend. One of the so, best friends. Yep. Yeah, so God worked all over the place. And that is just a blessing. And you continue to grow. Definitely. Same for yourself, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continue growing. It said both of y'all keep being great and leading by example. That is the biggest thing to do. Thank you. We appreciate that, Kenny. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. Oh, man. If y'all have any, we'll take maybe three more questions if anyone have them. And then we're going to wrap up. Oh, man, it's been a popping week, y'all. I hope that whoever's been watching any of these lives that I was able to 
connect yeah, with Yeah, I was someone. able to tune into every single one of them. Like, you did your thing. Like, Thank and you. And the guests as well. Everyone yes. did their thing. Yes. It says, can you explain the surrealism in your art? Okay, so the surrealism is like, um, it's basically self-explanatory, surreal. So it's kind of like, uh, so in my work, surrealism would be kind of like the, um, like the, the effects that I put in my work. Okay. Stuff that wouldn't, you wouldn't see in real life. Mm. So that basically explains uh, surrealism. Okay. So like, all right, so if we can explain, so for the people, I'm a teacher, so I like to break things all the way down a little bit for exactly. people. So if we could just use one of the pictures in the back and like explain the surrealism, sorry, I didn't say the word wrong. <laughs> surrealism <laughs> in the back and um, give them insight on what it is that's in the picture that we can depict and understand that we wouldn't see that in real life. So just use okay. either one and then explain that. Okay. Uh, so here is the piece called uh, Furry Goddess. Mm -hmm. uh, this is more of like a, um, so these are more like the um, Afrofuturistic pieces. Um, so I wouldn't, along, I wouldn't line it along the lines of like surrealism. Mm -hmm. uh, so this falls in the category of kind of like representing how, you know, us black people are royal, we're, you know, we're excellent, you know. Mm -hmm. So I have the wings here in the middle. Mm-hmm. To kind of represent face. Okay. Also, the wings for the uh, the back and the front as well. Mm -hmm. Then I have the crown up top to represent kind of you know royalty. Right. Uh, and mm -hmm. the same thing went behind this one as well. They both mean the same thing. Okay. So why? Okay. So why did you choose like the face to be like directly in the center, like with the what is that going around? Is that just? Um, um stuff or well, does, that's, mean, that's or does it mean something? Um, not really. It was from like the composition standpoint, like okay. placement. That's all it was. Okay, cool. Because I know sometimes, like when you look at certain art, they be like, "Oh right. well, that's just there." But then if you ask the artist, and they'll be like, "No, well, if you look at this angle, and you know, they'll start describing right. a whole list of things." So I just have to ask because I don't want to be like, "Oh, well, you know, it's just real," you know, <laughs> like. Right. You know, but yeah, the face was placed place. in the middle just for placement reasons. Right. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Um, any reason why you chose those colors? Oh, I know gold is a part of royalty and then... Right. Okay, cool. So uh, my color palette with my art describes me, basically. I'm a very mellow and calm. You know this. I'm a very calm guy. So everything is mellow colors and, you know, earth tone colors. Mm -hmm. So those colors basically describe my personality. Right. Which I, you know, portray through my work. The grays, the blacks. Right. <laughs> so you know, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. Yep. All right, let's see if there's any more questions. Okay. There. Hey, shout out to South Africa, too. Oh, wow. We got South, there from, uh, South Africa. Yep. That is amazing. Hello. You really have followers from all over the place. I love it. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who else was tuning in as well. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Yes, without y'all, we could not make this. We can't make this thing possible. Um, she was, he was featured in the Essence magazine. But mom already knows this already. So. <laughs> you know why? You know why? You know. Come yeah, on, I, I, you, get it. I get it. <laughs> you know why she doing it? <laughs> All right. So he, um, she asked, "What um inspires y'all?" Um, definitely uh, Afrofuturism, which, you know, clearly through my work, I'm inspired by, uh, mm -hmm. and music. You know, music gives me all my inspiration. Like, okay. without music, I can't do nothing. Like, really? You know, literally, I can't. So, do when nothing. you're creating all of your, um, math, your artwork and things like that, do you have music playing? Yes. Oh, at all times. At all times. Wow. Wow. wow, wow. Yeah, That's headphones cool. on. Just mm -hmm. tune into my artwork. Just tune into creating. So, what kind of, what genre? of music do you listen to like when you're creating uh i like lo-fi beats a lot like you know instrumentals mm -hmm. so 90 percent of the music that i listen to is instrumentals wow. um also hip-hop of course mm -hmm. r&b uh alternative music mm -hmm. things like that oh i like that um she asked was it vivid i don't know what mom talking about oh that was the magazine that was uh, featured in about maybe two years ago Mm -hmm. No, it was a year ago. Uh, independent magazine. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, look at her. She's trying to remind you. And you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> she out here reminding you. Okay. So what? So what is Vivid Magazine? Oh, do I know what that is? Yeah, Vivid Magazine is like an independent uh, magazine that's based in New York. Mm -hmm. So they reached out to me a year and a half ago to be featured in a magazine for their issue at the time. Okay. So how does that work? Do um are you paid for like all of your features and different? Um uh, no. Okay. No. Yeah, I would. I mean, I want people to feature me out of love, not for you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, so for that, that, that's paying, that's and I'm right. Right, because I designed, uh, create, uh, designed uh, pieces for that for that issue. So for essence, I was definitely paid for that. Mm -hmm. Just because of the not so much for the feature, but because of the pieces I did for the uh for the uh the issue. Okay, understood, understood, understood. Okay, I just wanted to know if there was like a big, you know, something behind that, or is it just like they're like, hey, can we just do this? Or you know, do you right. get paid every single time? Because I know a lot of times we as creators, you do a lot of things for free first. You know, right. you um just because you want to continue to build those relationships and different things with people and resources to get yourself out there so that's why i was just i was just one curious yeah there's some people that focus straight on money from the beginning mm -hmm. like you're focused on money from the beginning of your process it's not going to last long right like you got to put that work in yourself for free i mean it may be for free but at the end it'll be worth it right absolutely right then you'll start getting paid you know from so, you know your clients what you like. right right yeah I love it. I love it. I love it. And this was amazing. More questions? I think they done. I I opened all the questions. It's all about networking. Yep. Right. I said this all week as well. Your network. Your net worth is your network. Definitely. So. But yeah. If I got more questions, definitely bring them. We got three minutes left, so. Yep. Definitely bring them. Thank you, Jeff, so much. Because if the question is on time, I'm just going to, you know, start wrapping up. But I appreciate yeah, you, for, you for closing out speaking you into existence, um, educating youth on mastering your craft. It has been an amazing week, an amazing journey. And I'm so glad and thankful that you could be a part of this. Um, Likewise. Please continue to do what you're doing. You know that we will be in touch. Um, <laughs> we have a few things cooking up for, you know. So yes, um, yes. all those things are in the works. And just continue. Don't don't stop. You know, it's passion driven. Right. Same for you, too. Thank you. Like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, you're, you know, you're making a huge impact out here. So definitely keep it going. Thank you. I sure will. She said I got here too late. Oh, <laughs> oh. But I'm going to repost it. So you can definitely... Uh, Sweetheart, you can definitely like um just rewatch it and tag in where you like to. Definitely leave comments. Um, make sure y'all visit his website. He has mugs, clothing, apparel, um, canvas paintings. Um, I don't. Do you take requests if people want to like have like a custom portrait done? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Yep. That's wonderful. So you heard it all here. Um, I'll also put his information inside of the comment once I post this live. Thank you again for Thank everyone you. this you. week. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, everyone, for joining me this week. I loved it. We will do another one. Um, yes. I just had to figure out everyone's schedule, of course, because, you know, we all are working people. Um, thank you again. I can't thank stop you. saying thank you. I'm just so thankful. Y'all don't yeah. understand. Thanks like, for having me. I appreciate it. Like, it's definitely an honor being I couldn't have done it you know? without y'all. You know, like, I had the vision, but, like, each each guest made my vision come to life. And I appreciate each and one of y'all so, so very much. And we'll be doing this again very soon. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Good night, y'all. Right. Good night.